What a great way to begin the day. A spectacular view, fresh cocktails, and a fire pit. Welcome to Libby's. This is a beautiful spot for anybody to be in. Um, it's probably one of the most important spots on the Chesapeake Bay. From a view and dining perspective, I would say that Libby's is soon to be legendary because Hemingway's was here previously. It was a landmark restaurant and there's been hospitality on this spot for over 40 years. We hope to carry on that tradition. So with that being said, you're also adding some new things here at Libby's. Absolutely. Uh, we have a brand new menu. It's a very coastal influenced. Uh, we're getting rave reviews on it. It's a very cohesive menu. We try to touch points on all parts of uh, the dining experience that's expected out here on Eastern Shore. From seafood, obviously great crab cakes, amazing soups, uh, steaks, pork chops, and wonderful handheld options. I think everybody will find something that they like here on the menu. The view is spectacular, there's no doubt about it. And uh, for those of you who remember Hemingway's, sitting outdoors on a hot summer day with uh, scattered umbrellas here and there. It was a torture, <laughs> uh, especially on a really hot That's day. Right. But the owners um, have had enough uh, foresight to cover the entire bottom patio with sailcloth. You have added some spaces where you can dock and dine. Yes, dock and dine is one of the key features of Libby's. We have 13 spaces. We can reach our dock hands in our ship store on channel 68. It's first come, first serve, but it is an incredibly popular feature of this restaurant. Uh, between the fire pits, the string lights, the music, the amazing new sign up on the roof, you'll find your way here and we'll take good care of you. Today, are we gonna get to see some food items on the menu? Absolutely, I think today we're gonna present for you two of our most popular dishes. One is an appetizer and one is an entree. The appetizer, first of all, is called our tuna tower. Oh, nice. So fresh sashimi grade tuna. Red and green seaweed, tossed a little sweet soy and ponzu, a couple of secret ingredients we have in there. And the macadamia nut crusted sea bass with a coconut curry sauce and a grilled pineapple compote to garnish it. We have some beautifully crafted cocktails that are new of age, incredible fresh ingredients. Everything at the bar is fresh. We focus nice. on fresh, we focus on quality, and we focus on presentation. Our sunset spritz and our coconut basil daiquiri. What makes Libby's unique? Well, I'll tell you, I think it's our philosophy. Uh, it's something we share with our guests. It's something we share with our staff. And our philosophy is really quite simple. It's to enrich the lives of our community by providing amazing food and drink. Um, it's to provide outstanding service and to provide also a nurturing and caring workplace environment. The name Libby's, where does it come from? It's a loving amalgamation of the owner's wife and two daughters' names. They are Lisa, Abby, and Lindsay. So as you can tell, there's a lot of family love involved in this environment. And we're here to make sure that we, s we share that with everybody that walks through the door. For every and a gorgeous view. And a gorgeous view. This is my office view. <laughs> we welcome you to take a look. So we decided to enjoy the entrees. First, how is it? <laughs> oh, God. Delicious? Good, mm. yeah, I thought I'd try something. No, I got it. Oh. You're good. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Come on down, Libby's. Uh -huh. You should try some of this.